Yo, I done six shows in a row, so my voice is hurting. Fans wanna hear what you're in person. Boy, oi. She want a man from Brum, but she settled with a boy from Burton. I still see feds on the block, still see the boy them lurking. Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the Beer Necessities. This is the series where I try and cut through the misinformation out there regarding minoxidil and beards, try and bring you a bit of scientific evidence and also some clarity in some of the issues we face on our journey. Um, before I get into what the topic of this video is about, that you've probably seen from the title, I want to give a big shout out to my friend Sam who has just created his own YouTube channel. Um, he also created all the thumbnails for my video so thanks a lot mate. Um, and so I suggest you guys go and check out his channel and subscribe to him. He's just uploaded his first video quite recently uh, regarding Jamaican black castor oil and what it's used for and what it's good for and what it's not good for. Um, so do go and check that out. I'll put a link in the description. This video is going to be about minoxidil applications once versus twice a day. Uh, and I'm going to use sources where applicable uh, and I will talk you through those. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm making this video in response to some posts I've seen recently on the Minox Beard Spot of people saying things along the lines of this person over here is using one mil and getting amazing gains and they're getting better gains than people using twice a day and therefore, you know, it must be better to use it once. And I'm going to break that argument apart very shortly using some of the scientific sources that I've found. But first, let's just get a few things out of the way. So firstly, I'm not here to tell you that you must use this twice a day. I mean, plenty of people have used it once a day and got amazing results. Basic Ali is an example of that. Uh, and Tiger, if you're on the forum as well, he, I believe, used it once a day and got incredible results as well. Uh, what I'm here to tell you is it's scientifically evident that it's better to use it twice a day. Now, as I was saying, a lot of people go along the lines of, you know, this person over here uses one mil a day and they have amazing results. This person over here has two mil a day and they have slower results. But what you're not bearing in mind is that we're all different and we all respond differently to the product. So you can't look at someone else as your example. You know, if you start using minoxidil now, your gains might not be as good as mine has been so far, or they might be better. Um, so we can't really use other people. What is scientifically evident is that for yourself, using twice a day is better than using once, even though it's with really amazing gains. Um, them using it twice a day instead of just the once, they'll probably see better results. And I've seen comments on a lot of the posts saying that it's just the manufacturer that tell you to apply twice a day so they can make more money out of you. Um, and whilst the manufacturer of you know, the most famous brand Regain or Rogaine, depending on where you are in the world, does recommend you to apply it twice a day, I tend to disagree with people's view that it's just to make more money out of you. I mean, let's just think about this. They could just make a 30 mil bottle as opposed to a 60 mil bottle, charge you exactly the same amount, and people who suffer from male pattern baldness would probably pay for it. Uh, and therefore they would actually make more profit. So for me, they could make a much smarter business model by doing it that way. So now let's look at what the professionals say. So most professionals have reached a general consensus that twice a day is better than once a day. There are some professionals out there who claim that once a day is good enough, but they also concede that it's only almost as good as using it twice a day. Not better, not even as good as. But let's just say for argument's sake, it was equivalent, okay? That doesn't mean that it's superior. Now, if we're looking at one mil and we're saying it's as equivalent as two mil a day, then if we apply that first mil in the morning and then we apply that second mil in the evening, that second mil isn't gonna reduce our gains. If anything, it would only be a waste. It wouldn't make your gains worse, as some people seem to be claiming by saying that one mil provides better results than two mil. That would indicate that they're saying that that second mill actually degrades those results you were getting from your first mill. Okay, so I've been looking at some research online and whilst I can't find or locate at the moment a comparative study between 5% once a day versus 5% twice a day, what I have found is some of the studies that I think are quite interesting and I think support my argument, but do feel free in the comments box to post any links to other studies that you feel may contradict what I'm saying. Always willing to listen and learn as well as obviously give you guys information as well. Now, I have written this down because there is quite a lot to get through, but there will be some studies in the description and I will shout out which ones they are. So do feel free to go and check those uh, after the video as well if you want to read into that a little bit more. I'm going to be reading from the paper just because there is quite a lot of information to get through. There is a study that I put in there as study A. Now, that was done on women. I'll get into why that's not important, but it was done on women who were suffering androgenic alopecia. 
so typically what's associated as male pattern baldness, but also called female pattern baldness when it happens to women. It's the same thing, essentially. Um, and what they tested was minoxidil, 5% foam, once a day. And they tested the liquid at 2% twice a day. And they compared the results. And I'm going to quote verbatim of what they said and what their findings were. So it found that 5% once a day experienced greater but non-significant improvements in target area hair count, target area hair width, and overall efficacy. So how effective something was. And what that basically means is that 5% once a day is pretty much equivalent, slightly better than 2% liquid twice a day. Okay, so now let's look at study B. So study B was done on men and it compares 5% minoxidil twice a day um, versus the 2% minoxidil twice a day, both the liquid versions. Um, and again, I'm going to quote verbatim of what they said, and also I'm going to explain why it's important and why I'm comparing these studies. So the study essentially found that 5% topical minoxidil was clearly superior to 2% topical minoxidil in increasing hair regrowth and the magnitude of its effects were marked. 45% more hair regrowth than the 2% topical minoxidil after 48 weeks. So that's showing there that twice a day of the 5% is better than twice a day of the 2%. Okay, so let me make my point now of why twice a day is better than once a day based on those two studies right there. Um, so let's just look at this logically. 2% twice a day versus the 5% once a day. Their results were pretty much the same. There was a non-significant improvement by using the 5% but remember that's non-significant improvement, 5% once a day. We look over at the other study that showed the 5% twice a day versus the 2% twice a day, and that showed that there was a marked difference, so there was a significant improvement. So if twice a day of 5% is far better for you than twice of the 2%, then the once of the 5% can't possibly logically be better than twice of the 5%. Now I know what some people are gonna kind of say now, yeah, but your first study was on women. Guess what, it really doesn't make a difference. Um, so the main reason that women are typically told to use the 2% over the 5% is because of the higher side effects or the higher risk of side effects from using the 5%. One of those being unwanted facial hair, which as you can imagine, probably doesn't bother most men, but probably bothers quite a lot of women if they start growing facial hair. Now, I know that some of you are going to be typing furiously away into Google, trying to find something to rebuke the claims that I have previously made. Um, and that's good if you are, because, you know, it's good to share knowledge and do feel free to post any links that you feel below counter my argument. But I'm going to preempt one of them. And that is about the half life of minoxidil, which is 22 hours. That is scientific fact. Now, that's the same for 5 percent. That's the same for 2 percent. That's the same for 10 percent, 15 percent. It's about the actual chemical itself's half life. And this is where going to hit a bit of a quandary because I'm going to counter your argument using the same studies that I have just talked about. If we're talking about the half-life, uh, as I said before, it applies to the 5% and the 2%. Okay, So if you're saying that 5% once a day is you know, superior or equivalent even to the 5% twice a day, you'd also have to make that same logic based on what you've previously said for the 2%. So you'd have to say 2% once a day is more superior or equivalent to 2% twice a day. Now if you do do that, you're going to get yourself into a few problems because study A showed that 5% once a day was pretty much equivalent, maybe a little bit better than 2% twice a day. By saying that once a day is better than twice a day, you'd almost be saying that actually, in essence, 2% of minoxidil is just as good as 5% minoxidil. Both of them once a day. If you look at the comparative study, they're saying that 5% is basically the same as 2% when you use it twice a day, but you're arguing because of the half-life, you only need to use it once. You're essentially saying, that 5% is as strong as 2%, and then you'd have to completely ignore study B, that which shows, you know, that twice a day of 5% minoxidil is significantly superior to twice a day of the 2%. So guys, I hope that that was informative for you. Uh, if you did like this video, then please do hit that like button. If you want to question my assertions or you want to add anything, please do drop a comment below. And also, if you want to keep up to date with videos like these and also my journey videos, then please do hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again next time. You know, it's quite a big commitment um, 
So, I mean, it, I'd say a lot of people out there that are thinking of doing it, just be wary that it's probably going to take longer than six months. So I'm probably going to need another six months.